Hi there, and welcome to the Nature for Kids headquarters. Today we're going to wash sleeping bags. Aren't you excited? Yes! <laughs> welcome to natureforkids.net, where you can get encouragement and ideas concerning wholesome outdoor recreation for kids and their parents. So come join our family in the great outdoors. Well, Scout's been playing dress up today. Isn't she beautiful? Okay, well, your job is to hold the camera. Can you do that? Yes! Okay, hold this. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. We're gonna wash Scout's sleeping bag first. All we gotta do is unzip it, turn it inside out, right to that, and put it in. All right, we're using a front loader. It works well for one sleeping bag. If you don't have a front loader at your house, go to the laundromat, use theirs. Uh, but do not use the lift lid with the agitator in the middle. That will rip your sleeping bag to shred. We're going to be washing in cold water on delicate. We're going to use Wool Light. It's a very mild soap, does well with sleeping bags. Push it, girl. If you don't want to use washing machines, you can use a bathtub. Fill it up with cold water, get your sleeping bag in there, mix in soap, agitate it up. But just be sure you soak it for about 15 minutes and then rinse it really good. This is my sleeping bag. I've had it for like 11 years. I've only washed it about four times. Other than that, I do spot cleaning, especially around the face and the hood because that's where like your skin's oily and your hands are dirty. But also the feet will get dirty too, most commonly. So same thing, same soap. Put it on a scrub brush and just get the spots that you need, you know, going around and then rinse it really good with the cold water. Um, if you don't want to mess with cleaning your sleeping bag as much, you can get a cotton sack like that goes inside and you sleep inside of that. And so after every use, you can wash that in the washing machine. I prefer sleeping in my sleeping bag than it is. So. But just remember, for kids, try to get their hands clean, their faces washed off, and put some clean socks on them after they've had a fun day outside just so that they keep their bag clean and that way it's going to last longer. Here are some tips for cleaning your sleeping bag. Number one, do not light. Number two, do not use fabric softener. It's almost done. Okay, when you pull the sleeping bag out of the washer, you want to be sure that you really support it because it's going to be heavy. The insulation is going to be full of water and you can rip those seams really easily. So you want to like really hang on to it underneath and support it so that it doesn't rip. Alright, so I'm just going to stretch it out. Let it sit in the sun for a while. Huh? And then once it's pretty much dry, we'll take it, put it in the dryer, and then fluff up, and we'll go from there. Yeah. Alright, put this in. Alright, shut the door. Yeah. Okay, hey, we're done. Ta da! Is it warm? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey, it's all nice and dry. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hang it up in the closet because we don't want to store our sleeping bag in its stuff sack for a long period of time because that'll kind of squish it down and it'll lose its loft, all the fluffiness. So we're gonna hang it up and for some extra freshness, I'm gonna put a bounce dryer sheet in there. That way it's going to smell really good for the next time you need to use it. Now you're ready to go. And that is how you wash your sleeping bag. The end. Okay, say, number two, do not use fabric softener. Number two, do not use fabric <laughs> Number two, do not use the banana. <laughs> <laughs> Fabric 
softener. Number two. Do not use Fabinata. <laughs>